So you may have just went through and downloaded an actual you know, file within your Google Chrome browser within your particular iPhone, and you might be trying to figure out where those particular files are located. So Google Chrome is one of the most popular web browsers in the world. So if you're trying to find the particular websites that, or the files that you downloaded from this particular application, the very first thing you're going to want to try doing is you want to go and open up this particular app and you want to go and download a file. So whatever file you just went ahead and downloaded, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your files application of your iPhone. So what you can do is you want to find that files app and it should be located somewhere within your particular iPhone. So right here, you want to find the files app, which is right there. And usually what you can do, as soon as you go and boot up this particular website, you should be able to go and find a Chrome file within your particular iCloud, you know, on my iPhone. So if you downloaded a file, they should be located either within a Chrome folder here, or they could be located in your downloads folder, like your standard downloads folder of your particular iPhone. So if we take a look at Google's own page, where it says download a file in Chrome, inside of iPhone and iPad, it says on your iPhone and iPad, open Chrome, go to the page with the file that you want to download, tap the file that you want to download, and you can tap open in, save to files, and save. So let's say in Chrome, I wanted to go and download any sort of file. Let's say I wanted to download, let's just go into Wordle and let's say I want to download this particular image right here. I want to copy it, I want to, you know, whatever. Or let's say I want to save this thing from Chrome. What I can do is I can go and click open image or I can click search image, whatever. Or I can click save in photos or whatever I want to go and save it in. I can click save in photos and it says whatever. Now photos and videos, if you hold them down, will be saved inside of your photos or videos application. If you're downloading like a linked file, those will be saved inside of your linked file application. And that's another thing to kind of keep in mind here too. So that's basically where those files will be located. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so long.